Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I am going to demo how to configure rate limiting policy to the API. Using rate limiting policy, we limit the number of requests in time period. In this policy, we configure number of requests and the specify time period. In current time period, only certain number of requests can reach to the backhand. Once the quota is finished, in that time period, no other request will be served and they will not reach to the backhand. When new window start, then the again the new request will be served and they will reach to the backend. We can specify multiple group of requests using identifiers and each group will have separate quota for its window. For demo, I will log into the AnyPoint platform. AnyPoint.mulesoft.com I will log in using my username password. I will go to exchange. Here is the order API that I have already published. In order API, I have a slash order post and get endpoints and slash order slash id get delete and put endpoints i have implemented this api and deployed the implemented application to the cloud hub so let me go to the runtime manager this is api implementation of order api This is the domain. I have added the order API in API manager. So let me show you API manager. Here I use the order discovery to pair the order API with the order API implementation application. So using order discovery, this order API and uh, order API implementation application that I showed you in Runtime Manager, they are paired. And this API status is active. Let me go back to Runtime Manager. I will copy the domain name. Go to the postman and here I will invoke few endpoints. API orders. If you got the data, right now there is no policy configured no authentication, no rate limiting. So no rate limiting policy has been configured to the order API. So right now we can invoke as many time we want. Let me go back to any point platform, API manager. Order API detail, policies. So this API is not secure and it's not uh, limited. There's no limit is applied on the API. Now I will add the rate limiting policy. So I will click add policy. I will select rate limiting policy. Click next. Here we can uh, create the group of the request using identifier. So each uh, group of requests will have own quota in uh, their time window. 
but uh, for simplicity I will not use uh, identifier so I am going to configure uh, quota to all request so I will specify number of requests to time period 1 and I will select time unit minute so in one minute time period we can only call two time if we call three time within a minute the third request will be blocked it will not reach the back end and any subsequent request after two will be blocked until the new time window starts clusterizable that means uh, it will use a uh, number of requests to all node of cluster expose header we can expose header and we can get the x minus rate limiting remaining and x dash rate limit limit and x dash rate limit reset values in the header in the response advanced options we can choose the version and we can configure the rate limiting to certain methods or all methods i will keep it to all methods i apply the configuration the policy has been successfully created and it has been added to the order api in api manager so our policy is in place now i will go to the postman and test it So I will send the request again. We got the result. Let me check the header. So we got the x dash rate limit limit is two because we specified two requests per minute. Remaining quota is one and will reset in this much time period. So I will going to request again, send again. Now I will look the header again. Now rate limit is two because we specify two per minute. Remaining quota is zero because we already called two time and it will reset in this much time period. Now I'm going to invoke again. I think quota has been reset. Let me go back to the header. So rate limiting is 2, remaining is 1 and this is the time period to refresh. So I'm going to invoke one more time and check the header. So now quota remaining is 0 and uh, it will reset in this time period. So I'm going to call it again. We got the error. Quota has been exceeded. So we got 4 to 9 too many request error because we are called third time within a minute so this is the time period will reset again once it reset we can get the result again okay so time window has been reset we got the result because the request went to the back end so now remaining quota is one and reset time is this so I'm going to send again, we got the result, now remaining quota is 0, now I'll send again, now again we got the error, 4 to 9, too many requests, quota has been exceeded. We'll call, we'll keep getting error, because our request has been blocked, they're not reaching backend. Once the window is reset, our request will go again backend and we'll get the result. So it's still not resetted. Okay, window has been reset. Request went to the backend and we got the result. So this is all in this video. I showed you how to configure rate limiting policy to the API and how to test it and how to uh, look at the 
headers and to know that how much quota is remaining and when the time window will reset. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.